So in this first round, the boxers are just trying to establish their jab. They, they are keeping their distance with the jab. And they are trying different angles. Sometimes they shoot high, low. They're just trying to see if they can land uh, shots, uh, basically just feeling out their opponents. Now on the next step, the blue uh, helmet is trying to utilize the so-called step feint to provoke his opponent to come so that he can counter. But the red helmet does not react that much. So he tries the next thing which we call pulling in Russian boxing, that is jumping back and forth, try to make him follow, pull him out. Obviously the red helmet is showing resilience and does not react that much. Uh, for Russian box boxers, it is very typical. They are trying to apply mental pressure or pressure in general by either uh, utilizing step feints or by pulling. In this sequence, we see another attempt to provoke the red helmet with a step feint. He's jumping in as if he's attacking, hoping that would make a move and he can counter. In general, we can see that Blue Helmet is a counter puncher. He likes to play safe, which means he steps in, shoots, steps out, back into the safe distance. So he is the kind of guy that would try to capitalize on his opponent's mistakes. Uh, this fight is beautiful to watch because it shows the basics of Russian boxing, uh, boxing very well. You can see he's trying that step feint and pulling technique again a lot and uh, he, to his disadvantage the red helmet is quite resilient but it, it's very obvious in this fight uh, we can see that the uh, red helmet has become more aggressive in his approach and is now more actively approaching the blue helmet which is uh, to some extent uh, a plan of the blue helmet by applying pressure and now we see more step feints being utilized um, here in the sequence we see a so-called changing levels where he pretends to attack on different levels, hoping to, to bring the red helmet even more out of balance. What the blue helmet does is breaking the rhythm. He pretends to attack, provokes a reaction fr uh, from the red helmet, and then actually attacks at times when red helmet is not prepared. So he provokes a reaction and then attacks on, in a different, on a different timing level. That's basically, you know, out of Red Helmet's rhythm, so to speak. As, as you can see, the fight actually happens before hands land, before there's real contact initiated. The fight already happens with footwork. And what we see here is that he starts to set him up. He shoots low, uh, sets him up for an overhand, basically programming his opponent, um, conditioning him to a certain reaction, and then doing something unexpected. Now some fen uh, step feints again and this is the end of the fight. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. If you like my fight tips and analytics, I recommend you to check out my new book The Science of Boxing where I share with you my most important key fundamentals from my own experience and help you to be one step ahead of your opponents. Feel free to visit ringrageboxing.com to find out more.